I want to make this video to follow up my initial video of the uh, Palm telephone. Uh, actually, it turns out it does have a name. It's the uh, PVG100. Pretty catchy, huh? Um, I've used it for a little bit more than a week, and I'll tell you, I never even touched this phone the whole time. This is a just a Google Pixel 1, I guess. Uh, and I never felt the need to have a bigger phone this entire week. I love, love, love this phone. This is the only phone I need with a couple of exceptions. Let me tell you what I found. So I suppose the biggest drawback of this phone is the battery life. Uh, it will make it through an entire day with just no, sort of normal use. Um, but I just plugged it in for about an hour, usually after lunch, because I would spend l lunch hour reading news or whatever, and that pretty much would kill it. It's not a huge deal, especially if you have two devices, plug one in and take the other one with you. The other problem, that the other big thing I don't like is the face recognition. Uh, although it works, I, I guess, pretty well, um, the uh, fingerprint reader on the Pixel phone always uh, worked really well. It's a lot faster. This one, there's always just that second where it just takes to recognize your face. Not a huge deal. Uh, a, a couple of other problems. There's no um, hotspot, so you can't use um, uh, this as a hotspot for other devices, which is something I need when I'm up at my cabin because there's no other internet up there so that might be a problem there's also no Google Pay so you can't tap the device to pay uh, like you could with with this phone which is something I really like doing so that is an issue maybe for you one thing that's sort of a pain is that the so when you get a text message it'll go to both devices usually and or a emails they go to both devo both devices which means that you have to well not so much on email but for the text you have to delete them off of both phones or read them or whatever so you got to kind of double up on that which is a pain i had uh, one situation where i, I had to, it was a two step uh, verification with ebay and i kept sending it to this phone which i didn't have with me but it never would reach this phone and I don't know what the deal was um, why that text itself wouldn't get there but that was an issue those issues aside uh, it's a great phone uh, I, like I said I, don't, I spend lunch usually reading the news and I don't have any trouble reading this text um, I have decent eyes and all you young folk out there shouldn't have any issue with that um, I did uh, use it today when I biked to work and so it was well below freezing which is always a battery killer and uh, yet um, didn't have any trouble uh, tracking for more than an hour um, and streaming uh, music over Bluetooth headphones um, it just wasn't it, it it killed in an hour of riding it took the battery from a hundred percent down to about fifty four percent so that's certainly an issue but in the cold even the big phone um, it, it uses a lot of battery typing and some of that fine work you know if you're trying to move the cursor around is pretty tough um, but uh, I I will usually compose my emails via talking to it, period, which works just fine, period. I also installed this, oops, I screwed that up, the G board, key board, so that works. So you can enter text pretty easily with that. It's just that isn't an issue. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, it does actually, so I, when I started sending texts, uh, people were like, who is this? And because when you send text, apparently this has its own 
unique telephone number that you could call directly if you want. So when you set up the phone, they're going to give you a phone with a keyboard with a with its own phone number, and then I think your regular phone will forward everything to that keyboard, which is how that works. So I don't think there's any reason why you can't run this thing as a standalone device. I, I think you absolutely could. I, I don't know. You have to look into it. Um, there is a SIM card slot on here, so I think you can use it on different networks as well. Um, the camera works pretty well. Um, and it's just been great. If you have any individual questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.